Seagull Stadium. And we just await the arrival of the two teams. And Ray Herring takes out the Seagulls. Who can really bridge the gap and really tighten up this Winfield Cup competition with a win tonight at home. They go in as underdogs. But a tremendous performance last week to beat Newcastle at Newcastle. A feat not often achieved by many. David King, the son of Johnny King in the front row, and Huey McGahn, the experienced captain of Eastern Suburbs, the former Kiwi skipper. And he's got a side travelling out onto the field with him tonight who are in form, starting to put some impressive wins together. And the last tackle. Again, they might look for a kick. They're going to run it. Chance their arm. Great hands. At long last, they've got something to show. Determined run from Horsnell. Sure. Trying to link up. He gets through himself. Really clapped on the pace. Over the top to Gonzalez. Drags it in. Super. They've waited a long time. They may not have had much ball, but they've laid on a jet. Marshall to Hall. Hall getting it to the extras. Deacon with brother out of the corner should get there. We make a time up. Ross won't get a chance to put a boot to it. The siren signals the end of play. And that is the end of the night for the Seagulls, who have been hammered on the scoreline by a solid eastern suburbs. It can be a dangerous game up here on the coast, but it's 30 to 4. One of the stars of the recent Kangaroo Tour was Panther skipper Greg Alexander, who this week launched his biography. Everyone agrees Greg Alexander hates talking about himself. With that in mind, Five Star Brandy is not only Greg's story. It also traces the rise of the Penrith Panthers from chocolate soldiers to the team to beat in this year's premiership. Talking of navigation, it was Alexander again. Works another one. The book describes his early years in the big league and the petty jealousies which almost destroyed his career. I didn't want to offend people, you know, in the book, um, of course, and but you know, I just had to tell a story as it was, and you know, uh, through your career, you do have uh, some uh, differences of opinions with uh, certain people, you know, and, and I just sort of said, you know, mentioned that in the book. One man who knows him best is coach Phil Gould. Now he's without doubt the most talented uh, footballer that I've ever had anything to do with as a coach. And uh, you know, although I was a player, I played with some great players. I, I can't imagine anyone being as gifted as Greg. It must be uh, handy to have a player that's so versatile he can play halfback, fullback, probably anywhere in the back line. Well, he can do anything in the game. You know, he's um, a great attacking player, as we all know. He's got a great kicking game. Uh, terrific speed and uh, a very good cover defender, something he doesn't get a lot of credit for. You know, he's, he's probably got it all. Most agree Brandy came of age in last year's final series. The Panthers made the grand final after beating Canberra in the major semi-final. On that day, Alexander had a personal tally of 22 points. Alexander, inside Belcher, he's cut loose all right, right next to the post. Fiddler, get it out wide and Alexander says thank for the pass back in field. I not only rate him highly as a, as a footballer, but uh, as, he's a good bloke, and that's something that's never changed. I've gone away with tours with him. I've, you know, I've spent a fair bit of time with him, and he has a zest for life, which I appreciate, and it certainly comes through in the book. Roy Simmons has seen Brandy come through the ranks and always knew he had something special. Well, he could cover any position, but I've got no doubt halfback's his best, best position. I think that's where he likes to play, and if you like playing in that position, I think you always go better. Um, but I think you could throw him in at hooker, mate. But I'm not at all keen for him to have a run there, not to the end of the year anyway. You're a very versatile player. Do you think that that sometimes might be to your disadvantage? No, I, I th you know, I think it's my, to, to my advantage, you know, because I think sometimes I wouldn't have made teams uh, if I was a specialist, but being versatile gives me the option, uh, you know, either picking me in another position or as a reserve that can cover some positions. So, you know, it, it's a, I think it's a, it's a big plus to be versatile. With two kangaroo tours behind him, including a celebrated backflip during the second test in France, few would argue the best is yet to come. To make it Australia 12, Franceville and Alexander. Whoa! <laughs> Indeed, many believe Greg will write the most important chapter when he leads the Panthers on a lap of honour at this year's grand final.